Hello, Abel. Good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. I'm very good. And you? I'm excellent. Thanks for asking me. Are you ready for the ah, class? Oh, yeah. Abel, are you ready for the class tonight? Yes, I'm ready. Thanks. That is excellent. So welcome to the class again. And hello, Aida. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight, Aida? That's fine. Thank you. And you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. Welcome again to the class. Are you Thank ready? You. Are you ready for tonight's class? Yes, I'm ready. Mm, that is perfect. So yesterday we were talking about the present perfect. And we studied some words that we commonly use with the present perfect. Do you remember some of them? We study, let's see, one, two, three, three words that we used with the present perfect yesterday. Which are they? Do you remember? And the words are never. And what were the other two? Hello, Maria Magdalena. Hello, Emil Dasimara. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, guys, so yesterday we were talking about the present perfect and the word never, yet, and also already. And we learned how to use them. What, uh, what of this work is at the end of the sentence? The word yet. Okay, yet, but we use yet at the end of a question in a negative sentence. And what is the meaning of already? What's the meaning of already? Do you remember that? Mm, I think it's alrededor. Mm, alrededor? Not really. I have already done my homework. What's the meaning of the sentence? I have already done my homework. The meaning is ya, verdad. Algo que ya he realizado, que acabo de terminar. Then I use I already. I have already cooked. I have already cleaned up my house. I have already painted the wall. And so on, right? It's something that I have finished. I have finished something recently. So let's start practicing on the platform exercise. And we are going to complete the following exercise on the platform. And is this part, you see, 5.4. Let's start with this exercise yes, to remember what we studied yesterday. Then let's see, uh, complete the conversation, use the present perfect, use the verb in brackets, complete. And we are going to start here. Uh, this is equation. The first one is equation. You much exercise this week. So have done, have done, or have done. What do you think is the right answer in this exercise? Have done. Have you done? How oh, you say the last one? Okay, let's do the last one. Let's go with the second one. Yes, I already do aerobic class four times. And I have B. Have been. Uh, the last one too has been yes I have been already yes I yes. have already yes. been to the aerobic class four times let's see number three um, you any sport this month and I have never played and I have the option have played have played have played So what is the correct in this one? Number three. The first one, have played. 
the first one, have you played any sport this month? Uh, let's see, number four, no, I time. Is it I haven't had, I haven't had, I haven't had. Okay. Is the right option to complete this sentence? Having had, having had, having had. Having had, having have, and having had. Having had. The last one, and how many movies you this month? Have you seen this month? Have have are have seen or have been? Have what seen? Have seen? Okay, and let's see number six. Actually, I any jet. And I have the word gen at the end of this sentence, so it must be a question or a negative sentence. So let's see in this case, negative sentence. Haven't seen, haven't saw, or haven't seen. Haven't seen. Haven't seen. And number seven, you to any interesting party recently? Had been, had been, have, have, are. Have been. Have been in number eight. No, I to any parties for quite a while. Having when, having go, having gone. Haven't gone. And we are almost to finish. Number nine. Uh, you, any friends do today? And the bird is called. Have called. Have called. Have called. I'll call. call. Oh, I'll call. Have, have you called any friends today? And the last one. Yes, I already three calls made. I have met me. I have made. I have made. Made or make? Made. Um, this one, I made. And let's click here on send. And yes, you were right. Your score is a 33 points of 33 uh, points. That is great. So you got a 10 in this part. Any question with this? No question. Okay, if you don't have any question, then let's go with this. Yesterday we studied never, the word never, and we use this word with the present perfect to say that we haven't had that experience before. So I never, I never, I have never eaten. I have never done, I have never gone, I have never visited, I have never been. And so I have never been um, in Mexico. I have never been in San Salvador. I have never been in what? Aguachapan. I have never been in Usulután. I have never visited a zoo. I have never visited my own house. I have never eaten Italian food. I have never took a, taken a picture. I have never taken a picture of a snake and, and so on. Right? I haven't had that experience. Mm, and then we have already something that I, want, I have already done. So you say, I have already uh, gone to USA. I have already gone. To the beach. I have already done my homework. And yet, it's something that we expect, right, to be finished, but it isn't. So you say, haven't you finished your homework yet? Have you finished your homework yet? Terminaste ya tu tarea? Have you, uh, have you finished 
or haven't you finished your platform exercise yet? Then we use yet, right? Para decir que todavía no hemos hecho algo. Algo que esperábamos que ya estuviese terminado. That is the use of yet in the, with the present perfect. For today's class, we are going to study uh, the difference, right, between the present perfect and the simple past tense. Remember that the present perfect is an action yeah. that started but... starting in the past and it is still uh, active, right, in the present. Oh, we can see, right, that it is present, yet. Yeah. Abel, do you have any questions? Hello, Abel, do you Hello. have any questions? No, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, my microphone is a uh, Okay. It's not okay. Ah, okay, that is great. You, so you have some issues with your microphone. So welcome to the class of 14. And today we're going to study this topic, present perfect versus simple past. So in this session, um, in this session you will listen a conversation uh, in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. Now let's remember the simple past. The, we use the simple past when an action has already finished, right? When it has ended. Cuando ha terminado una acción, right? And then we have an specific time in the past. Y tenemos un tiempo específico en el pasado. So I ate who was that yesterday. So este yesterday uh, es un tiempo específico. Fue ayer. Y ayer ya pasó. Entonces, en, en este caso, utilizo pasado simple. Uh, I ha, I visited I visited Australia last year. Then last year in a, is an specific time. Entonces eso me hace saber que ya terminó esta acción, ¿verdad? Ya no estoy allá en Australia o no he ido muchas veces, solo una vez. I visited. Okay, so let's remember the past form of regular verb. Do you remember the rules to form re the regular verbs into past simple? Do you remember some of the rules? How to make a regular verb into past tense? ¿Cuál es la regla para pasar los verbos regulares a su forma en pasado? Do you remember? Add the letters TV. Okay, that is great. That is the, the first rule, right? Regular past simple tense is formed by adding ed to the verb. Example, laughed, watched, started, called, and listened. Rule number two, there are some exceptions to this rule, right? The first one is, if the verb end in e, you just add d. Si el verbo ya termina en e, solo agregamos d, no necesitamos agregar otra e. So you say like, agree, wait, and escape. Then let's see the next section. Rule number three is a verb. Is a verb and in consonant plus y, you take off the y and add ied. Example, carry, carry, try, 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 try. As you can see, if it is any consonant plus Y, we take off, we take off the Y and we add I, add I, E, D to this verb. And we have another extension here. Let's see a rule number four. And rule number four. four. Let's see, if a verb ends in a vowel plus Y, you just add E, D. Si un verbo termina en una vocal más Y, solo agregamos ed. Let's see, for example, play, pray, enjoy, and delay. It's any consonant plus Y. Then we don't take off the Y. We just add ed to this verb. Rule number five, when a one-syllable verb ends in vowel plus consonant, double the consonant before adding ed. Stop, stop, plan, plan, hop, Pub, beg, beg. So those are the examples for this word. Now let's see, we have this exercise here. We are moving last night. 
what do we need to do to this bird? How can we make this? What? Wash it. Okay, what letters do I need to add? Do I need to add D, E, D, or I, E, D to this bear? E, D. Yes, E, D. Yes, you're right. Let's do the second one. Sam, the computer an hour ago. And I have the reviews. Then, what is the simple fast form of use? Use. Okay, as this verb end in E, I just need to add D. Yesterday, mom, a K. And I have the verb bake in parentheses there. So, what do I need to add to this verb to make it into past? Bake it. That you are right. Thank you. So bake. I just add here and chop the wood outside. Put the wood outside. And I have chop. And I have the end consonant, vowel, consonant. What do I have to do with this verb? Uh, double P, right? Yes. And number five, done. Dinner for us last week. Who? Cook. Cook. Cook it. Yes, cook. And number six, eat the whole night. We have the word cry. The cat, the whole night, for example, or the dog, the whole night. And I have the word cry. The very cry ends in consonant plus Y. Then what do I have to do with this word to make it into simple fact? What do we have to do? We need to change the last letter, Y, uh, change to I, E, D. Cry. Excellent. That is the right answer. We need to take off Y and we need to add I E D. Thank you so much, Maria Magdalena. Thank you for your having this. Now let's see the pronunciation. Do you remember this? These verbs end in. Um, with the regular verbs, we have three pronunciation, right? At the end of the verbs. So we have D sound, D sound, and E sound. So we have work, watch, cleaned, date, invited, and also visited. So how do we know when to pronounce T, e, D, or E sounds? Do you remember this information? Let's listen to this example. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Okay, so we have three different sounds, right, with the end in ed of the verb. How do we know when to pronounce sound, when to pronounce sound, and when to pronounce ed sound? These verbs end. So let's see. Um, look at this other example here. Can you pronounce this correctly? Work. Glance, arrived, ordered, handed, and tasted. And I have this example in this small paragraph. Anyone here to try to read the paragraph? Who wants to try? And try to say the right ED sound to the verse there. 
Any volunteer to practice in this part? Who wants to practice? Kevin, do you want? Yes, teacher. And let's do it, please. Uh, repeat the, the 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 example, please. Um. Ah, uh, okay. Walked, glanced, arrived, uh, ordered, handed, and tasted. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, walked, glanced, arrived, ordered, handed, tasted. Thank you. The last one, handed, tasted. Tasted. Yeah. And now the paragraph. Can you read the paragraph? Last weekend. Oh, okay, okay. Last weekend, I I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter I read and ordered a stick. After dinner, they waited, handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. Okay, thank you so much. That was excellent. So look at this sound C, D, and E sound. Thank you, Kevin. So now let's see how, when to pronounce the sound or how I am going to pronounce them. So let's see. Um, it, we are going to pronounce the sound. It is the first N in the following letter. In the sound of the following letter. D sound or D sound. Use it at the end. For example, want it. And I have another example. He need it. And C, I'm going to pronounce the verb in, in these letters, C, K, F, S, C, H, S, H, C, H, or T, H, because they are voiceless. Voiceless means that they doesn't uh, produce any vibration in your uh, throat, right? When you pronounce this sound, for so example, help, then with this boiler sound, we are going to pronounce the final ed as a t. Help, help, wash, wash. And this sound, we to pronounce the final ed of the regular verb with this sound. Any verb that ends with a vowel sound or the sound l, m, n, j, r, d, p, v. W and Z. So if they were any one of these sounds, we are going to pronounce, let's see, for example, hold, hold, play, play. Okay. Um, that was a review, right, about the regular verbs in simple past. Now, what happened with irregular verbs? How do we have to learn the simple past tense of irregular verbs? Do you have any idea? Los ejemplos anteriores fueron de cómo, ¿verdad? Hacer el pasado simple de los verbos regulares. Now, with irregular verbs, we have a problem. And the problem is that they don't follow any rules. So, every verb has its own form in simple past tense. Then the only way is to practice a lot and learn them from a list. Right? Eh, tenemos que aprendernos de una lista y practicar mucho ¿verdad? los verbos irregulares para poder dominarnos, aprendernos los más que podamos ¿verdad? para tener más vocabulario. And now let's look at this conversation. So it says, actually I have and it started Okay, let's listen the conversation. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? 
No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't... can't de decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, can you find in this conversation some examples of present perfect? Affirmative, negative, or question sentences? Can you tell me some examples? Tell me some examples in present perfect, please. Can you identify some sentences in present perfect in this conversation? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? That is one. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Any, any other example? Have you been here long? Thank you. Any other example? Actually, I have been living in the time. Um, which one is another example of present perfect? Now let's look for an example in simple past tense. Simple past tense. Which are some examples? Simple past, simple past sentences. Living in the China? Mm. No. I lived there Living. for two years. I okay. ate a lot there. Okay, I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. Yes, that is simple past. And also, I live in Thailand as a teenager. And also, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, and I lived there for two years. How long Very did good. you live there? Uh, how long did you live there? Yes, yeah, you are right. That is simple past two. Okay, so as you can see in this conversation, we can find these both things, right? Uh, we find present perfect and also simple past. So I said, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. Uh, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I have it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? No question about vocabulary. Several times, what does it mean? What is the meaning? I've had it several times. I had it several times. What's the meaning of this sentence? It's like a sometimes. What a basis. Oh, yes. Many times, right? Many times. Various best. Uh, okay, I need to volunteer to practice, but listen again. Pay attention and listen to the pronunciation, and then we are going to practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years.
Okay, now I need two volunteers to practice in this uh, small conversation. Anybody wants to practice tonight? If not, I'm going to pick somebody. Let me choose Abel and Kevin. Can you help me, please? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Kevin, let's start, please. Okay. Uh, I am sorry. I am late. Have you been here long? No, uh, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Thank you so much. It was perfect. Thank you. Very good pronunciation. Um, actually, is the pronunciation of the word. Actually. The rest was perfect. Thank you so much, Abel and Kevin. Now let's do thank Jose Daniel, Liz, and Maria Magdalena. Can you help me please read in this conversation? Yes. Okay, I am Peter. Yes, you are. Let's start. I sorry, I am late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. It is good. It's delicious. I have been several times. Or how about that Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much for your help. Right. In this conversation, now let's move to the next explanation. Um, and this is what I said before, right? This is the present purpose for us. Let's make time the past. Right? Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Then, yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I have never eaten it. So, can you see the difference in the answer? The person say, Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. Eh, comí una, una vez. That is simple past. Say, No, I haven't. I have never eaten it. So in la segunda, eh, no he tenido esa experiencia. So I have never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. And then you say, I tried it several years ago. Lo, lo probé, ¿verdad? Hace mucho tiempo. And say, no, I haven't. I've never had it. Again, right? No he tenido experiencia. Entonces, eso presente, perfecto. Si lo hice ya hace tiempo, ¿verdad? Dice, eh, utilizo pasado simple. I tried several years ago. Let's listen to this example. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay, now let's practice. I'm going to practice with Maria Magdalena. Uh, I'm going to read the question. You are going to read the answers. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? 
Yes, I have. I added ones in Paris. The other one, too. The next question, have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Now let's move to the next exercise here. Present perfect versus simple. Okay, let me, let me read the following information. I have this chart here, the present perfect simple and past simple, right? Present perfect, past simple. So we use the present perfect for unfinished action that is started in the past and continue to the present. I've known Julie for 10 years and I still know her, right? Eh, he conocido a Julia por 10 años y todavía la frecuento, ¿verdad? Todavía me encuentro con ella, todavía le hablo. Entonces, uh, todavía tengo contacto con él. Finish action. Now, the past simple is used for finish action. Acciones que ya terminaron. Then you say, I knew Julie for 10 years. Conocí a Julia por 10 años. But then she moved away and we lost touch. Ella se mudó, ¿verdad? Lejos y perdimos el contacto. Entonces, you say, I knew Julie for 10 years. Esa acción terminó. A finish action in some slides, in some slides when the person is still alive, a life experience. My brother has been to Mexico three times. My brother has been to Mexico three times. Uh, that is a life experience, right? A finish action in some slides when the person is dead. My great grandmother went to Mexico three times. So, hay una diferencia, utilizamos presente perfecto cuando la persona que ha tenido su experiencia está viva. Cuando ya ha fallecido, then we use simple past. A finish action with a result in the present. I have lost my kids. I lost my kids. The result is that I can get into my house now. He perdido mis llaves y aún no las he encontrado. A finish action with no result in the present. So I lost my kids yesterday. Perdí las llaves ayer. It was terrible. Now there is no result. I don't need kids yesterday, right? Eh, ni modo, las perdí, ¿verdad? Terminó esta acción. Eh, I lost my kids yesterday. It was terrible. Eh, with an infinite time to work. Con una frase que nos muestra un tiempo indefinido. Como this week, this month. For today, I seen John this week. He visto a John esta semana y la semana aún no termina. Eh, when I finished that word, like, for example, last week, last month, yesterday, um, we use a simple path. I saw John last week. Vi a John la semana pasada. Then remember this information, right? It is going to be useful to identify when to use present perfect and when to use past simple. Do you have any question until this moment? Questions? Can you sure. listen? Yes? Eh, solo solo en, la, en, en, en las últimas oraciones. Donde dice, I, I've seen and I saw. En el, en el perfecto simple sería, yo, yo, yo he visto. Uh, yes, I have seen John this week. He visto a John esta semana. Pero, uh, pero esta semana aún no termina, ¿verdad? Porque todavía me quedan varios días de la semana. Entonces la acción no ha terminado todavía. O no es importante el tiempo. No es un tiempo específico. Puede haber sido el miércoles, sido el jueves. Y en vez dice, I have seen John this week. Y la última, I saw. Ese es pasado simple. Yo vi a John la semana pasada. Como la semana pasada ya terminó, entonces utilizo pasado simple. Y mm, okay. now, Kevin? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. Anybody has a question in this part? No, no question. Then let's go with the exercise. Then. 
I have the first one here. Simple, faster, present, perfect. Last night, I, my keys, and I have the word loss. I have lost my keys or I lost my keys. Lots. So you say it's simple past? Uh, yes, simple past. Simple past then. Okay. Yes, you are right. It's love. Why? Why did you say it's simple past? Last night I love my kids. Es una, acción, es una acción pasada, ¿no? Muy bien, es una acción pasada, pero ¿qué nos da esa pista en esta oración? Last night I lost my kids. Eh, la, la última vive. noche. La última noche. La última noche. Ah, ok. La frase last night, ¿verdad? Es un tiempo específico. Entonces, con tiempo específico utilizo pasado siempre. With a specific time, simple past. Let's see the second one. I visit Paris three times. I have is visited. Okay. Uh, this time I'm going to use the present perfect because it is a repeated action, right? And it doesn't have any time. Es una acción repetitiva y no hay ninguna frase que me diga que hay tiempo específico. So I have visited Paris three times. But we don't have when, right? We don't know when. We don't know when. I have visited Paris three times. Number three. What about number three? It's a simple past or present perfect. I have duly for three years. She is my best friend. Agregamos este contexto. She is my best friend. I have. Okay. No. Si todavía sigue siendo una mejor amiga, entonces significa que eh, todavía tengo contacto con ella. I have I have done I have done Julie for three years she is my best friend in number four he said I play hockey or I have played hockey I have played hockey since I was a child. Yes, you're right. That is the answer. I have played hockey since I was a child. En esta oración, esta acción, ¿verdad? Que comenzó en el pasado todavía eh, continúa, ¿verdad? Porque dice, no, he terminado de jugar hockey, todavía juego. He jugado hockey desde que era un Niño, esta frase, esta palabra since la vamos a ver mañana. Since, we are going to study since and for. Okay, so, how to play is the answer. Let's see number five. I have seen Julie three times this week. Oh, I saw Julie three times this week. I have saw. Uh, are you sure? Let's write the answer you say. I have. I have saw. Did you say I have saw? Yes. Yes. If, is it, it correct? Oh. No, no. Um, 
uh, the correct is health, I guess. Um, oh, I have seen. Okay, the right answer here is I have seen. Seen is the past participle, and I need present perfect. Uh, how do I know that I need a present perfect to complete the sentence? I have seen Julie three times this week. ¿Cuál frase me ayuda a saber que es presente perfecto y no pasado simple? How? The phrase is this week. This week. Esta semana, ¿verdad? porque todavía está vigente, no ha terminado. Si fuera last week, entonces sería pasado simple. But this week means that the day week haven't finished yet. Let's see number six. He in London since 1994. He hasn't been lived. Yes. 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 She has lived in London since 1994 and she has still lived there. And number seven, drink three cups of coffee yesterday. Uh, I have drunk. Drink, drunk. Is it correct? I drank three cups of coffee yesterday. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now let's see. We have to pay attention in this kind of sentences. Oh, uh, let's see. What is that? Okay, in this one, right? In the phrases, we need to pay attention in the phrases. Last night is simple past tense. Uh, three times repeated actions of present perfect. Uh, for three years, um, that is a period of years I need uh, present perfect too. Since with this word, generally we use present perfect. So, usually three times this week. So this week and the week haven't finished yet, so present perfect. And things again, present perfect. And finally, we have yesterday and a specific time in the past, then simple past. Do you have any question about this exercise? No question. Okay, let's move to the other exercise here. Let me erase this. And let's move to the next one. Okay, complete and practice. So we are going to complete this small conversation. So in the first one, can you help me to complete this, please? Have you ever? Have you ever in the very thing? Sang? Can you spell that for me, please? S A N J. G. S A N G. Is it correct? No. It's not you. really. S U M G. Okay, then you say S U M G. Have you ever sang in a birthday party? Yes. I. Yes, I. Have. 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 Yes, I have. I. Sing. No. I sang. I sang. Sing song. Okay, I sang once on my birthday. Okay, excellent. Let's see the next one. Have you ever lost money? Okay. Have you ever lost money? Have you ever lost money? No, I haven't. I haven't. haven't. No, I haven't. But my mom lost. But my mom 
plus $100 one. Let's the next one. Is the way I have you uh, ever crushed? What? Have you ever crushed a card? Yes. Yes, I have. Once I crush. Once I crush my dad's car. Oh my god. Have you ever crushed a car? Alguna vez han tenido un accidente de auto, han chocado un carro, have you ever crushed a car? Me teacher. Once oh, once oh, time. One? Yes. Uh, did you get injured there, the accident? Uh, in the car, uh, stay, stay my, my, my father, my, my sister and me. Oh my God, that was terrible. Uh, medium, uh, the, the, the side, the side left, uh, the bus, uh, uh shock uh with the with the car no really yes thank, thank god you are good now uh, yes oh. okay that is great so i need to volunteer to practice in this a really small conversation and i'm gonna pick aida uh, marisol and let me see two aida marisol and Ana Gabriela, can you please help me with this? Ana, are you there? Hello, Ana Gabriela. Good evening. Can you listen to me? Well, she must be busy. Uh, let me see. Abel, can you help me, please? Let's listen to Aida and Abel. So, Aida, you are A, and Abel, you are B. Can you help me practice in these three small conversations, please? We are almost to finish. Okay. Have you ever saw him in a birthday party? Oh, well, no, Gabe. Well, Gabe. <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm sorry. Yes, I have. I sang once on my birthday. Have you ever lost money? No, I haven't. My mom lost uh one hundred dollars once. Have you ever crashed a car? Yes, I have. Once cr I crashed my dad cars. I'm sorry, this is in mute my microphone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for practicing in this. So let's move to the next exercise. We are almost to finish tonight's class. So do you have any questions in this part? Any doubt? Any question? No. Me to share. Me to share. Tell me, Kevin, what is your doubt? In the first uh, sentences, uh I have a I had I had confused in in Sung and Sung because uh, I think that uh, sang uh, uh, was 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 first. Mm, okay. Um. Thing. Okay. We have thing that and sang. That is the the correct way, right? So we have uh, thing. Then we have the simple past stand, and finally we have the past participle, which is with you, san. San is the simple past tense, and with you, san, that is the past participle. And in present perfect, we need the past participle. That's why we use the third column of the verb, please. Is it clear now, Kevin? That's why we use san and not san. Mm -hmm. I understand that teacher. 
Okay. Thank yeah. you so much thank for you. your question. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is the last question and we are done for tonight. Uh, is it? Oh, yeah, I have another exercise, but let's do this first. Let me help to complete this one. We are going to leave the next. Okay, let's complete this, right? We are going to leave the other one for tomorrow, but simple past or present perfect in this one. So read the sentences and tell me. Number one, we do the rest of one last night. So do I need simple past or present perfect to complete this sentence? Simple past, when? Simple past, okay, Abel, you are right. When, can you read the, can you say the complete sentence? We, when, to the restaurant last night. Okay, excellent. Abel, tiene un punto, veamos en la segunda. Who has the second one? Is it simple pass or present perfect to complete the second? This is me or other student? Ah, uh, another student. Who has the answer? Okay. Being. Being, okay, yes, present perfect. Uh, for ages, significa por mucho tiempo. No he estado ahí por muchos años o por mucho tiempo. ¿Cómo sería la oración completa? I haven't been. Yes, thank you, Kevin. I haven't been there for ages. Thank you, Aida. I will give you the point to Aida if you cover the correct thing. Then, now I have a draw. A ver, en Aida. One point and one point. Let's see three. Hector, his last summer holiday in the country. Pen is the verb. Simple pass, spend. Yes, I mean, you are right. So Hector is spending his last summer holiday in the country. Last summer holiday, that is a specific point in the past tense, and a specific date when this event happened. Number four, again, all the rules by heart. Learn it. James learned all the rules by heart. Uh, y ya se le olvidarían. No, o sea, ahí sería que aprendió. James learned all the rules by heart. No, pero él todavía se las puede. Si se las preguntamos, todavía nos dice It's toda la Present vez. perfect. Present perfect. James has learned all the rules by heart. Se aprendió todas las reglas. Todavía se las puede, se las sabe. Entonces, present perfect. Algo que comenzó en el pasado, continúa en el presente. Number five, Charlotte. And I have yet at the end of the sentence. Having a right yet. Haven't or hasn't? I have or hasn't? Charlotte have or Charlotte hasn't arrived hasn't. yet? Sorry, hasn't. Hasn't, hasn't yes, right. you're right, Kevin. Thank you. So, Abel, two points. Aida, one point. Kevin, one point. Let's see, number six. We're almost to finish. A uh, lot of money. A lot of money last month. Aaron. Earn is ganar. Simple pass or present simple, perfect? Simple pass. Yes, simple pass because, because we have the present last month and that is a specific time. 
Thank you, Aida. Let's see number seven. Simple past or present perfect. Just tell me. Simple past or present perfect. The people, the lazy decision of the authority. Didn't like. Okay. I, who said the answer? Were you, Kevin? Was it Kevin or Abel? ¿Quién dijo la respuesta en la número 7? Didn't like. Me. Oh, Abel. Eh, let's see number 8. Do you ever do food? Okay. Present perfect. Oh. Is... Who said the answer? Aida, were you? Present, present perfect is, right? Have you ever tried this food? The kid. Have you ever? Have you ever tried this food? A number nine, the kid, their grandparent last Sunday. Visited. Simple past. Simple past. Thank you, Abel. Yes, simple past. Right? The kid visited their grandparent last Sunday. Last Sunday is a specific time. And the last one, do the birds in the garden yesterday. This is the last one, present perfect or simple past in number 10. Present perfect. Present perfect. Are you sure? Yesterday. Simple pass. Okay, Abel, it's simple pass. We have the word yesterday there, and yesterday is specific time. So that's why it is simple pass. Okay, thank you so much for your help in these exercises. We are going to continue learning this tomorrow. Uh, do you have any question about how to recognize when we use the present perfect and when do we need to use? The simple past tense question. Just remember, right? With a specific time, we use a simple past. When a specific time, we use present perfect. Do you have any question? I have a question for you. Have you already completed section number five on the platform? And have you already yes. started? I oh, I, I have already finished. Excellent. Congratulations. And what about the final exam? Have you already taken the final exam? No, teacher, not yet. Me, teacher. Uh, okay, Kevin say yes. Maria Magdalena say no, no, yet, teacher. And don't forget, please, right, that we you need to complete all the exercises on the platform, right, during this week. Before the last class, that is on Thursday, next Thursday, all the exercise must be uh, finished, right? Okay, when it starts terminating, now, all of them, okay? So if you have a, let's see, if you stack a set in an exercise, puede ir, ¿verdad? Uh, puede regresar a ese ejercicio, completarlo otra vez, para que la plataforma nos quede al 100%. No se les olvide, antes del día jueves, antes de la clase del día jueves, debe de estar terminado, okay? Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your help in the exercises. And see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Nice. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night. You too. You too, Thank teacher. You. Thank you.